Holly, it's the same question to you, I suppose. You're also in a long-term relationship. Is this a question that gets asked? Do you feel pressure surrounding it? Uh, I, I think I do, um, probably in a different vein to Holly. Because of my job, you know, people don't ask because they assume as a model I can't get pregnant because I'd lose the shape of the body and it would just throw my career out of whack. Which, which is a I whole other is, level of pressure. Yeah, yeah, which is a whole other level of pressure and we've seen how many models come back from that. But anyway, that's a different conversation. Um, I definitely do still feel it though. You know, I've been in a five-year relationship, um, but I've had concerns about fertility for a very long time. So it was very interesting when you mentioned Dr. Moses about the lineage and the kind of bloodline between mother and daughter. So my mom was deemed infertile um, and she had to undergo surgery. She had two kids and then nine years later, she fell pregnant with me at 42. So she so would you have been- you a miracle baby. I'm a miracle baby. Yeah. My name is Talia Angel. <laughs> okay. I'm a miracle baby. There's yeah. all of these terms thrown around. Yeah. So they're the nicer end of the terms, but then you've yes. got geriatric pregnancy um, and you know, she then fell into her menopause afterwards. And there was, it was just, I remember speaking about my conception and, you know, the whole process. And it was just quite a negative, the, the terminology, the medical terminology. And then obviously my mum's own experience was just quite negative and scary. And so I've always had a fear of my own fertility and, and um, what my journey might look like. And my sister thankfully had no issues when she had children. But before the lockdown, I had booked in, so I was 24 to get a fertility test because it was something I was concerned about. And then the pandemic hit and I didn't um, follow through with that. So I just feel really comforted in this panel and talking about these things and knowing that even if there is an issue with my family line, I ne might necessarily face those issues and there's also options for me. And like you said, there's specialized treatments for people and you don't have to necessarily just assume the you're worst. infertile or you're yeah. barren or all these words and the fact that you even brought up Moses about the um, infertility not being used anymore. I just think infertility is such a negative term. It's, it, it conjures up such um, just confusing emotions, I think, yeah. for women and for men. And your mum had been given that term, which doesn't yeah. even exist. Now. Exactly. And yeah. it's, I think, even to be able to tell her after this, you know, yeah. that they don't use that anymore. So and comforting. even women in her position don't have to go through what she went through.